This is likely what caused the researcher to be infected. The reason for this is Yes, shaving bone with a router causes particles of bone dust to fly out into the air. It's likely that the researcher inhaled some of that powder while he was working. The powder then carried the infection and made contact with the mucous membranes. That is my hypothesis to explain the infection of the USAMRID researcher. Hey, little guy, could you analyze something for me? Sure. Huh? Uh, haven't I already analyzed this for you, Dr. Kimishima? Yes, but I want to know more details. Like what? We know now that the blood stain comes from the same person as these bones, but there was no obvious damage to the deceased's clothing. Can you investigate in detail into what kind of hemorrhaging would have caused that blood stain? I see. All right. Can you give me some time for that, please? Of course. I'll be counting on you. Dr. Kimishima, the analysis of the syringe is complete. The syringe? The one that was in the case? Oh, yes. It's about that. Interferon, acyclovir, ribavirin, lamivudine. Slow down a second. What are you talking about? Um, it's the medicines that were confirmed to be in the syringe and the ampules. All that was in there? Seriously, I don't understand. Every antiviral drug on record is in this list. Antiviral drugs? There was even an ampule of Ashvins in there, too. Ashvins? It's a medicine that hasn't been fully authorized by the FDA. It's an excellent antiviral drug, but there were some problems with side effects. Huh. Just what were these reported side effects? Okay, let's see. Uh, Ashvins is an antiviral drug. It draws on the patient's calcium to suppress viral activities. If used in excess, the subject will become calcium deficient. The body then draws calcium from the bones and it leads to all sorts of complications. A drug that robs calcium from the bones. Well, that isn't its purpose, of course, but that is what happens. I see. Something bothers me about this, though. The deceased had a large amount of antiviral drugs in his possession, along with a dangerous, unapproved drug that caused calcium deficiency in the human body. Yes, it seems that these can be used together. The large amounts of antiviral drugs found in the corpse's personal effects, and an ampule of Ashvins, a dangerous antiviral reagent. The reason that Ashvins was never approved was because... Indeed, Ashvins consumes large amounts of calcium